Hey guys, welcome to Smack Talk Wrestling Reviews. I am your host, Boise, and welcome to the first ever NXT UK review. I am excited. I am a huge fan of British wrestling, obviously, because I am from Britain. And I think this show is just going to highlight how good British wrestling really is. So all that said, let's hit the music. first match of the night was Mark Andrews taking on Joe Coffey and he was followed to the ring with his brother Mark Coffey. This was cool. Uh, as we know, Mark Andrews has been on WWE TV a few times, he's been on 205, he's been on NXT and he was also part of the United Kingdom tournament. Joe Coffey as well was part of that with his brother Mark. Um, those two straight away they're the big bad heels on the UK brand straight away. This, the match itself was exactly what I wanted to see in an opening type of match for the UK match, for the UK show. It, it, it showed a powerhouse of uh, Joe Coffey. He didn't have much, he didn't show too much of what he could do on the UK tournament when he, when he, they first arrived, but this definitely showed it, especially with someone like Mark, you know, Mark Andrews, who who's a, a bit of a well-known name now with the UK, you know, WWE UK fans. So him getting a, a victory and then him and his brother attacking Mark Andrews after the match, I thought this was really well put together. It puts them into a kind of like, oh god, these guys are they're big, they're scary, and they're super heavyweights. And um, and you know, Joe Coffey he, he is a former ICW champion, so he is dangerous as it, as we all know. Um, ICW is one of the big brands over here in the UK, one of the best independent shows you will ever see. I'm not joking, I've seen a few of them, and they are just absolutely awesome. Um, I mean, Webster came out, helped out Andrews, and it pretty much that's that's got a new that's straight away storyline. To, it could be a tag team and I'm really excited I want to see how this story continues it's a great way to introduce the Coffee Brothers and you know Webster and Andrews being very popular in the UK scene was a really strong start to the show I really enjoyed this I'm gonna give this a 7 out of 10 next up we had an awesome little promo from Mustache Mountain and they they pretty much threw the gauntlet to anyone back in the background saying look this is a whole new show whole new division we already know there's going to be an NXT UK tag team division and we're former NXT tag team champions here obviously Mustache Man are one of the most well recognized teams you got Tyler Bates the first ever UK champion you got uh, Trent Seven who should have been, who in my opinion should be UK champion because he's just so cool. He's one of those guys you just like even when he's a heel You do like him over here. He's just so fun and Tyler Bates and Mustache Mountain are Absolutely awesome and it was good to have them on the first show because it's kind of like we the UK NXT UK But has only three big stars. I reckon well four I say four big stars right now um, that's Trent Seven, Tyler Bates, Pete Dunne and Tony Storm. I think those are the big four names on the show right now. And they two being on the first show really was something important. They just they they just went, look, we're gonna be here leading the tag team division and we want competition. That's excellent. Obviously they're not the NX, you know, they're not the NXT UK champions yet, tag team champions, but I'm expecting them to hold the titles because I think a team like them will add pristine to the titles. So I thought it was a really good segment, really fun, and the crowd just enjoyed seeing them. So I'm going to give them a 7 out of 10. The next match we had was Dave Mastiff taking on Sid Scala. Uh, I'm not very familiar with Sid. Um, first time I've ever seen him perform, but Dave Mastiff I did see at the UK tournament. Uh, and he is a powerhouse. And this was a squash match, and it did exactly what he needed to do. It showed Dave being... Big, scary, and able to destroy anyone in the ring. Um, and that's what it was. It was like, this guy is going to be a force to reckon with. We're going to, I reckon they're going to build him up. I reckon he's going to be the guy who, in a couple of months' time, 
World Challenge Pete Dunne for the UK tournament, you know, championship. And I think the way they're going to build it up is like they do with Braun Strowman um, and others, like, you know, just, just build him up, have him eat these little scrawny wrestlers and then have him take on, you know, someone like Mark Andrews or someone like that who, who are good mid cards, who everyone recognises, loves, likes, and just have him beat them and then challenges Pete Dunne for the title. I think that's how it's going to work out. Um, but yeah, it was a good introduction because a lot of people didn't get to see, you know, not a lot of people watched the recent UK tournament. And he was one of the big surprises for me, how agile he is for his side. I, I don't know why we're so surprised nowadays that we have big guys who can do some amazing aerial moves and are very fast on the feet because we've seen it over the years and he's just on that line of the guy shouldn't be able to do this but he's he's just scarily agile for his size I really enjoyed this um, good introduction to to the NXT UK family so I, I'm going to give this a solid 6 out of 10 Next up, we had Tony Storm taking on Nina Samuels. Um, again, Samuels is someone I've never really heard of before last night. But Tony Storm is someone I have known since in uh, time in progress. ICW. She's she's a very talented women's wrestler. Hell, she could beat some of the guys up in the in the men's division. I I think she is that talented. She's great, she's fun to watch, and this was a good look. Again, these type of matches were introductions to not just the people who won the matches, but the people who were, te the, everyone taking part. These people are, they're, they're, they're very special now, because this is the first NXT UK show, and even if you lose your first match on the show, it's still, it's still getting you that limelight, it's giving you that light to go, look, this is what I'm able to do. And we've seen this before with other wrestlers. I'm excited to see who else comes from. You know, Tony Storm's well known because she's been in the Mae Young Classic twice. She's still in the Mae Young Classic as we speak. And she's one of the most popular names in British wrestling over here. She's from Australia, but she's very much been adopted by the UK audience as one of our own. She's, you know, she's fun, she's exciting, she's a rebel, and we all love her. She's like a punk rocker wrestler, and that's what you want to see. It's entertainment at its best, and she is, at, you know, the only downside I've got to say is that Viper, aka, you know, she wasn't signed up with the UK, you know, NXT UK division. Because um, Tony Storm and Viper have had absolutely brilliant matches in the independent scene, in progress all around the world these two have brilliant matches and unfortunately Viper signed with World of Sports and Tony Storm is at NXT now but if they could get to Viper as well that would be that that the women's division in the UK would just be killing it right now I think it would be better than Raw and Smackdown um, but yeah sorry going on tendon but yeah Tony Storm did win it, again it was a quite a bit it was quite a quick match um, it didn't really get uh, Samuels to show too much of what she's able to do, but it was a good introduction for people who haven't seen Tony Storm before. So I'm going to give this a solid 6 out of 10. And this moves us on to our main event of the show, and it was Pete Dunne taking on Noam Dar. Noam Dar back in the UK, and the crowd love him. We do. Uh, Noam Dar can just do whatever he wants, and Pete Dunne is... He is awesome, the Bruiser weight is brilliant. And this was a fantastic main event and for the NXT UK top Championship just was brilliant. Um, because it just shows the, the scale of the te techniques. No, I'm dad being a high flying type technique expert with Pete Dunne being a very much grind, you know, pretty much like he's mixed now. I, I still think Pete can do quite a few high flying moves as well as the vicious techniques he does use on the ground. He's very, very vicious, but it was a great match to watch it. it you know, at some points I was like, ah, Pete Dunne's not going to lose this on the first year. Pete Dunne could lose this on the first year. No one doubt had a great reaction, but br Bruiser way it was, Pete Dunne was absolutely the crowd's favourite. And there's no surprise, the guy is entertaining to watch. And I, when people say Pete Dunne is the UK, you know, a UK Triple H, I can believe that. When you watch him, uh, his in-ring technique and the way he just breaks down an opponent, you just go, damn, this kid's got a future and I cannot wait to see 
what he can do later on in his career because he's going to be absolutely killing it. I reckon he'll be the first WWE UK champion. I reckon he'll be the first U English wrestler to become WWE champion. That's how positive I think Pete Dunne's going to be in the future. I think he's going to hold the, tie the big title one day. Uh, but yeah, the match itself was absolutely fantastic. Uh, Pete Dunne did win. I wasn't much of a surprise, but the match itself was so back and forth. At some point, she did believe no one thought was going to win, and that's that's the best thing about these type of matches. And at the end of the match, both men showed respect by showing their pinkies, and I thought that was great. Um, so I've got to give this match a solid 8 out of 10, a great main event for the first show on NXT UK. And there you go, guys. That is my review for NXT UK. Um, the first show didn't disappoint yeah I think it, it introduced some great characters it re you know it was like a oh this is like a sample of what you're gonna get and it, if this is what we're gonna get every week I'm not gonna be too disappointed and if stories and characters can be flushed out like they do on NXT I'm really really excited to see where this product goes um, I think everyone who performed last night were absolutely brilliant I think Pete Dunne and having, having Pete Dunne and Mustache Mountain on the first episode just shows you this is this show is dedicated to the UK audience and showed look we've got big stars. Tony Storm is for me the biggest name in the women's division, and I think she at some point will become UK. You know, I know who the NXT UK Women's Champion is right now, and it it's 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 a shame it's not going to be Tony first. Spoiler alert, it's not going to be Tony. But the show is definitely going to be building up on some great feuds. And I can't wait to see where they go. And there you go, guys. What was your favourite part of NXT UK? Leave it in the comments below. If you do like our videos, please like, subscribe, and press the notification to keep up to date. And if you want to follow us on Twitter, you can do it. It's at YouTube. And if you want to follow me on Twitter as well, it's at Boise88. And I'll see you guys next time on Smack Talk Wrestling Reviews.